Hello my fellow comic book collectors! Today is Friday and on Friday I do my cover challenge where I basically ask you, the viewers, to make videos <laughs> and, and show uh, comics related to a, a particular topic or theme uh, and just show some of the books in your collection and um, you know showcase some of our collections, dig in those boxes, find some cool stuff to show the comic community. And it's my attempt to really kind of grow the comic community, like get people engaged and um, really have fun with comic collecting. So um, with that said, I'm actually going to do something a little extra, a little special. At the very end of this video, I always link out to one of my other videos generally. But in this case, I'm going to link out to one of the other channel channels that participated in last week's challenge. And you can see what other creators are putting out. And uh, so this week, I'm going to actually link out to uh, Black Box Silver and Bronze. He did a really great war cover uh, video, and I'm going to link out to it at the very end of the video. You can check it out and see what other people created. <laughs> um, my video for the last week was War Covers. And the one that you, uh, I showed 10 books, and the one you guys chose as the number one was my Wonder Woman, right up there. <laughs> um, my Wonder Woman number one was considered the best war cover. Now, if you want to check out my war covers, uh, you can uh, use the hashtag war covers and see all the my videos and other people's videos for that challenge. Um, this week's challenge is kind of um, was encouraged uh, by one of my viewers who recommended that they wanted to see um, something related to Black Panther and Namor. Uh, so with that, in, you know, I was like, ah, that's a little too precise. <laughs> I kind of wanted to broaden it out a bit. So I'm going to make it underwater covers. So uh, you can show any underwater covers. Um, I was actually going to pick one but that kind of has like underwater kind of suggestion, but it, it doesn't show underwater. I kind of want the, the cover to be like the characters are actually underwater. Um, so you'll see what I mean when I show the books. Uh, the very first one I'm going to show <laughs> is I, I like wedding covers. I don't know why. I just, I just do. And this is a wedding underwater. And this is Aquaman and Amara. And they're getting married. I just love this cover. You got you got Robin in the little bubble. I love when the people are wearing the bubble helmets, and you got Batman in the bubble helmet, the Green Arrow. You got the whole Justice League wearing bubble hel helmets, and except uh, Superman and uh, the Martian Manhunter. But I just think it's a really great cover. It's like kind of fun that they're getting married under the sea, and <laughs> it's just just a really great uh, cover. Uh, another Aquaman. This is number nine on my list is if you don't show this in a way if you don't show like some of the the great artists that are associated with aquaman i i, I feel like I, I i'm missing out I, I i feel like i did a disservice to aquaman because there's some really amazing covers in the aquaman run and this is one of them this is uh nick cardi he did these phenomenal <laughs> phenomenal covers and i just love this one this is like they're under the sea and her hair's flowing and just, I just love the, the style. I just think it's really, really great. So this is Aquaman uh, number 40. So just a really great Nick Curdy cover. And um, I showed these some of these before on previous videos where I talked about underwater covers, but they are some of my favorite. <laughs> so I'm going to show them again. You get to see them twice. Uh, ne the next one is Planet Comics. I love mermaids. I think mermaids are cool and sexy. And so it's, you know, a bit of good girl uh, art. So this is uh, Planet Comics number 49. And he's kind of, you know, they get the guy looking through the, the portal and uh, you see this mermaid on the other side. Um, this one is extra special because it's got huge water damage. <laughs> and it is kind of funny that it's a water cover with a comic that is water damaged. Uh, sort of funny. Uh, but it's just a really great cover by Lily Renee. So just a great cover. And the next one, another really great Fiction House comic is Ranger Comics. And I love when they wear the bubble helmets, the, the like the, you know, those underwater helmets. And this is um, Ranger Comics number 33. And it's just a really great one. Like he's fighting a shark. <laughs> They're wearing the, you know, the girls in a bikini, just kind of sexy. 
and just really great underwater scene in general. Like, this is just a really great cover. Next on my list is from EC Comics. Um, this is Land of the Lost, number one. And I just like it, like, they're, you know, going to some underwater cavern. And I just like, you know, you get the... Um, kind of reminds me of, um, uh, you know, some kind of, um, you know, some kind of cartoon series where you got the, you know, like... You know, even the fish are wearing, you know, clothing and stuff like that. So I kind of like that. Um, you got the little police fish over here. And I think this is like a mayor fish or something like that. So just a kind of a, <laughs> a cool, cool book. Uh, this is Land of the Lost, number one from 1946. Now, the person that asked for this video, well, they asked for Submariner. So I got to so show some Submariner on this list. So the next on my list is Submariner number one. <laughs> so a lot of people say that they don't really like this cover. I actually like this cover. It's kind of an underwater thing because um, you got all the kind of underwater scenes in the in behind him. Like right here, that's the kind of an underwater scene to see the little bubbles. I like when they show the bubbles when they're underwater. Some of the scenes are not underwater. So this one kind of should be lower on my list, but um, I just like Submariner, uh, this this cover in general. Personally, I like it. <laughs> I like it because it has the <laughs> big premiere issue. I, I don't know why. Something about that. I, there's something cheesy that I kind of like about it. <laughs> I just think it's really cool. So this is Submariner number one. Um, first premiere issue. Big premiere issue. All right. Next on my list is... Um, Nightmare Comics, number 13. And this is uh, a Matt Baker cover. And I just love it. It's got the water nymphs on, you know, and the guy kind of coming down into the water. And uh, it's just a really great... Whenever I think of underwater, I, I don't know why, but I always think green. I think, you know, because of the way the light filters through or something. So I always I always believe that they, people should look somewhat green underwater. I don't know why. <laughs> but I kind of like these water nymphs. I think they're really sexy and kind of cool. And Matt Baker is a master of making, you know, beautiful women. <laughs> so uh, this is Nightmare Comics uh, number 13. And next on my list is Beyond. And this is Beyond number 21. And again, it's another mermaid cover. <laughs> I love my mermaids. I think they're really cool. I kind of think this is cool because he's wearing the, the, the gear and he's like kind of drowning um, because his helmet has been removed. You can see the bubbles kind of going up. I like the bubbles. <laughs> I like when you can see that kind of sea level as well. So this just has a lot of elements that I kind of really like uh, for underwater covers. So this is... Um, and does it have a shark? It just needs a shark. Sharks make underwater covers for me too. Uh, that's another thing I like. But yeah, I just really like this one. Beyond number 21. And gotta have more Submariner. <laughs> gotta have more Submariner. And this is actually my favorite Submariner cover for the Silver Age. Uh, Golden Age, there's some better ones that I like, but this is my favorite Silver Age cover. And it is Submariner number nine, or five, number five, sorry. Um... I just think it's a great one. You got Tiger Shark. And I got, you got this blue girl on the ground there. It's just a really great cover. And you got Submariner kind of diving. And I like when they have those, as I said, I like the bubbles. I think they're really cool. Uh, you got all the bubbles kind of coming up as he's going quickly under the water to rescue the woman in distress. And again, she's wearing a red dress. So that's always good too. Uh, so this is the first appearance of Tiger Shark. Submariner number five. And it's just a really great cover. I just really like this cover. I think it's um, uh, John Bazima. Yeah, John, John Bazima art. Just a really great cover. I really love this cover. Just love the colors. I think it's just really great. So uh, Submariner number five. And last but not least, this is my favorite bar none uh, underwater cover. And I think it is like one that's underrated it's one that I actually, if I could get a higher grade in this, I'd be even happier just because this is one of those covers where I feel like I almost want it in a 9H just because it's such a great cover. Um, this is Showcase 79. And this is the first appearance of Dolphin. So 
but it's just such a beautiful cover. It's like a great good girl art cover. Uh, you got the scuba divers kind of going after her. And you got the bubbles that I like. Just something about it. It just really flows really well. I just, I think it's just such a beautiful cover. Um, I just, it's, it is by far, by far my favorite underwater cover. Uh, just think it's just so, so great. Uh, just, I like the fact that she literally goes right across the whole entire comic. Like her fingertip kind of goes into that corner and her toe tip goes to the other corner. It's just it's such a great cover. Um, this is by, um, who did the cover? Um, John's, uh, say, sorry. Uh, John, uh, J. Scott Pike, story, cover, and art. And so the same artist did the story and uh, interior art as well. So this is um, Dolphin, <laughs> uh, but also known as Showcase 79. One of my favorite, just my favorite <laughs> by far. Okay, so that was my top 10 uh, underwater covers. If you want to participate and maybe get linked at the end of next week's video, all you have to do is pick you know, do a record a video with 10 underwater covers and use the hashtag Friday Comic Challenge and hashtag underwater covers. Okay, so those two hashtags in the title of your video, and then it'll all link together on YouTube and everyone can check out your videos. You can also, in the comments below, put a link to your video and that always helps too. So um, I hope everyone enjoyed this video and had some fun. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.